All right, we're going to go over some identities involving using the half angle identities. So here are our half angle identities. Um, if we take the square root of both sides, we also get this set here. And there are also some additional um, alternatives for tangent and cotangent for their half angle identities. Okay, and they are shown, again, right down here. Okay, so these are our identities. Um, you should have those in your notes. We're going to be using those to verify some identities or prove some identities. All right, so here's the first one we're going to take a stab at. Tangent squared of 1 half theta. We want to show that it's equal to tangent theta plus sine theta over tangent theta minus sine theta. Okay, there's two ways we could go with this. We could either use the fact that cotangent is 1 over tangent or we could try going the route of cotangent is cosine over sine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with 1 over tangent squared. Okay. So I'm rewriting cotangent squared as tangent squared of 1 half theta. All right. Well, what is tangent squared of 1 half theta equal to? It's equal to 1 minus cosine over 1 plus cosine. So now I have 1 over 1 minus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. And we don't like to leave fractions this way. So remember what we do is we invert the bottom fraction and multiply. So again, that gives me 1 times 1 plus cosine theta. I've just flipped that bottom fraction over 1 minus cosine theta. Okay, when I get to a point like this, that makes me a little leery. There's not a whole lot I can do to make that look like tangent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on this right hand side instead. Okay, And what I'm going to do is change all of my tangents to sines and cosines. Okay, so I'm going to separate my two sides here so I know where I'm at. All right, so here we go. Tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. And then I have plus sine theta. And here this is sine theta over cosine theta minus sine theta. I would need a common denominator to add these together to get a single fraction. So here I need cosine theta in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by cosine theta here and do the same here. Um, one Another way we could do that is just multiply the, each fraction times cosine theta, the top and the bottom. I know that's a proven method also. Okay, so in the top that gives me sine theta plus sine theta cosine theta all over cosine theta. That's just the top part. That's my sine theta plus, and this would have been sine cosine theta with my common denominator of cosine theta. Okay, so now the bottom would be sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta all over cosine theta, my common denominator. Again, we're going to simplify this, and again, to divide fractions, you invert the bottom one and multiply. So my top fraction was sine theta plus sine theta cosine theta all over cosine theta. I'm multiplying that by this bottom fraction inverted, so cosine theta over sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta. The cosine thetas cancel. And so now I'm down to sine theta plus sine theta cosine theta over sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so now what do we have? Well, notice I have sine in both terms on the top. I also have sine in both terms on the bottom. So what I can do is factor a sine out of the top, and I'm left with 1 plus cosine theta. I can factor a sine out of the bottom. I'm left with 1 minus cosine theta, and those sines cancel. And what am I left with? 1 plus cosine theta over 1 minus cosine theta, 
which is the same thing that I have on the left hand side after I changed it to 1 over tangent squared 1 half theta substituted the value in using my identity and broke it down both sides ended up being 1 plus cosine theta over 1 minus cosine theta and so that identity has been proven. All right, in this one we are asked to find um, or prove that tangent theta over 2 times cosine squared theta over 2, which is the same thing as 1 half theta, by the way, theta over 2. We're supposed to choose, prove that's equal to 1 half sine theta. Well, let's try this out. It's going to be probably better to expand this left-hand side and try to show that it's the same as 1 half sine theta. Um, for my tangent 1 half theta, notice it's not squared. So I'm using that alternate identity that the text gave you. For just plain tangent 1 half theta, you can use 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta. So that's what I'm using here. Okay, that is times cosine squared theta over 2. So cosine squared theta over 2, again that's the same as 1 half theta, is equal to 1 plus cosine theta over 2. Okay, well let's multiply those. So on the top I have 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus cosine theta and in the denominator I just have 2 times the sine of theta. When I FOIL out the top I get 1 plus cosine theta minus cosine theta okay we're FOILing there minus cosine squared theta these in the center cancel and so sorry, I almost forgot my denominator there I have 1 minus cosine squared theta over 2 sine theta. Now remember, one of our basic identities, we're trying to just have sines left. One of our basic identities that is that 1 minus cosine squared theta is the same as sine squared theta. So now we have a sine squared in the top and a sine in the bottom. We can cancel one sine from both top and bottom. And I get the sine of theta over 2 which is the same as 1 half sine theta. Apologize for running out of room there, but we did show that the left hand side was the same as the right hand side. And we used a couple of identities along the way. Alright, here's one last that we'll do um, using half angle identities. So this time I have one written as one half theta and the other written as theta over two. That means the same thing. Okay. Um, we have these squared. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at what that means. Um, when you square something, it means to take it times itself. I'm going to write them both as theta over two just to simplify things. So we are foiling and multiplying this by itself. All right, so what do we get? We get when we multiply cosine times cosine is cosine squared theta over 2. Cosine times sine is a cosine theta over 2, sine theta over 2. Here, sine times cosine again is our that same combination it's a cosine theta over 2 times a sine theta over 2 and then on the end here sine theta times sine theta would be sine squared theta over 2 well remember our cosine squared and our sine squared if you have cosine of any angle squared plus sine of any angle squared as long as they're the same angle remember that's equal to 1 cosine squared plus sine squared, or sine squared plus cosine squared. Even though they're theta over 2's, that doesn't make a difference as long as they're the same angle, and they are. They're both theta over 2. Okay, Our identity said that that was equal to 1. Aside from that, I had two cosine theta sine thetas. 
okay? And I keep calling them just theta. They are theta over 2. I apologize for that. So now I'm left with 1 plus 2 cosine theta over 2 times sine theta over 2. Well, I'm supposed to end up with 1 plus sine theta, and that's not what I have. I have the 1, right? Got the 1 right here up front, and it's added to 2 cosine theta over 2 times sine theta over 2. Um, well, think back for a minute. Um, do you remember anything that looked like 2 sine theta cosine theta or 2 cosine theta sine theta? Remember that the double angle for sine is this. So when you have twice an angle, it's equal to 2 times the sine of that angle, the cosine of that angle. Or, okay, so notice if we rewrote this over here as 1 plus the sine of 2 times theta over 2, do you agree with me that's the same thing? Because if I multiply 2 times theta over 2, I just get theta, which is what I came from. Well, if I use the double angle for that, 2 times theta over 2, my identity says that's 2 times sine of the angle that I had, so 2 times sine theta over 2, cosine theta over 2, and these are the same thing. It's okay that this is cosine sine and that's sine cosine. I can rewrite it. The commutative property allows me to change the order of multiplication. So I did end up with the same thing on both sides. I had to do a little um, jimmying and thinking about it, but um, that double angle works, okay? Because two, two times theta over two is the same as theta. And I was able to prove that the left side and the right side were the same using, um, actually not using half angle identities all. I actually used a double angle identity and some algebra.